Warning, what you are about to see is virtual. However, the concepts here on this channel and the love we have for our family is 100% real. A family is different. We walk a unique way. Some can talk, some can walk. The love guides every day. Seasons come, they don't scare us. We hold hands tight through the night. Each child special in their own way. In their hearts, we see the light. Oh, we love them with all our might Through every challenge, we'll stand and fight Our bond is stronger, our hearts so full In our special family, love is our rules We know the world might stare, but they just don't see the strength within our walls, the joy and simplicity. We laugh and cry, we dream so high, together we will rise. Each step we take a victory in our children's eyes. Oh, we love them with all our might, through every challenge. Everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you do not know me, if you're new, I'm Rocky. I am 45 years old. I am blind, autistic, and I have special babies that are dear to me that have special needs. So I'm a mama bear to a lot of kiddos and virtual kiddos as well. <coughs> so if you're interested, keep watching. Please like and subscribe, and please be respectful in comments, and enjoy the channel. Good morning, everybody. It is ah! Mon <laughs> Monday morning. The kids are just off to school. We've been having a lot of internet trouble here. Face time. Ah, shoot. Calendar. Shut up, phone. Face time. Double tap to open. Shut up, phone. I said. Anyway, we've been having a lot of internet trouble here for some reason. I'm not sure why. I did call Calm Crap. I don't even explain any about it, but they don't know what it is. They just said that they'll try to fix it when they can, but that's just been really hard. I've been trying to get the video to render. It's not wanting to render, which is a pain in the butt. But anyway. Uh, Elon had a bad seizure this morning. Uh, it was not a good situation. Her new neurologist... Dr. Dodson um, said to change, they changed her medication to one of the new medications that changed her to was, what the heck just happened here? Um, they changed it to uh, Abreviact. So she's on Epilin, she's on, uh, which is almost, I think it's the cousin to Depakote. 
and Abreviact, and she's also on uh, Epidialic. So now three seizure meds, but it's okay. Uh, we'll get through it somehow. Mail, find out. Anyway, she had two, let's see, she had seizures last night too, and then she had a big one this morning that scared us half to death, but. So I kept her home today because I didn't know for sure she had any more, and our new doctor, Dr. Donaldson, said, well, just go ahead and keep her home today. Just kind of keep a watch on her, so that's what we're doing. She's upstairs taking a nap, so. Anyway, it has been crazy here today, um, this week already, with stuff going on. My cat's going nuts. Mom keeps falling down. I don't know what her deal is, why she keeps doing that. I don't know. Anyway, just trying to get the rest of the laundry done and get stuff packed for Ukraine. I've been packing all morning because I'm packing every day for 12, for 11 uh, days till we're ready to go to Ukraine because, um, or 10 of the 11 days because the 11th will be the day we actually. The 11th day will be the actual day we go to Ukraine, so. Packing for 10 of those days, and I've already been packing since last week. And I've already got most of it done, so yay. Um, I got babies things packed and everything. Everything else is about done. So, just a lot going on. I'm trying to get things cleaned up and done and chores done and Send to watch our someone to watch our animals when we're gone, so anyway. Just trying to keep my mind busy and uh Narkees and Scarlet are bringing dinner over tonight, which is really nice because um after the night we've had, which Christy told him. Uh, they're like, don't worry about William Spring dinner over. They made some tri-tip a couple nights ago. It was really good. And they still have some more tri-tip they're going to make. So, yeah, on that. So, anyway, it's just crazy around here. Got a lot going on trying to get things done. And I have a personal trip I'm taking this weekend. Our blind organization is doing a picnic Saturday. So, I'm leaving Thursday morning for that. Uh, if everything goes as planned, I don't know what's going to happen, but if everything goes as planned, I'll be leaving Thursday morning for that. If it doesn't, then I don't know. But there are some questions I have because, I mean, I am autistic. There are things that I have to know are going to be okay before I do it because I, I'm just that way. People do not understand that. Anyway. Just trying to take care of kids, and you know, Elon's upstairs watching Little Bear and sleeping off and on. I just brought her some water. Um, she is okay. I just checked on her. She is okay. Um, but she wasn't feeling very good earlier because the seizures were really bad. So. Dr. Donaldson just said to just keep an eye on her today, kind of keep her comfortable, keep an eye on her. And all that. I think I'm taking care of them and basically trying to make sure she doesn't have any more seizures. But, yeah, one of those days again. That's the way life is sometimes. So I'm washing all of you. It's close because she had a little puke accident when she, when she has seizures, sometimes she throws up. So we have to kind of watch for that. I just, Went up to check on her and she was happily in bed watching Little Bear snuggle with her special baby. Hi, Ely. How you feeling, lovey? You feeling any better, my love? Mm. Watching Little Bear 
Yeah. So she said that chicken noodle soup sounded good for lunch, so I made that for her for lunch today. I'm gonna give her that in a second. I made it my special way. The only way she'll eat it. So I did that and I gave her some meds. Um, I have to feed her in a second. You want to for lunchies? Yeah. Okay. You feel any better? How's your tummy? It's by the moment. I just don't like feel having seizures. I know you don't, honey, but Dr. Donaldson told me to keep you home today. So I keep an eye on you to make you feel better, okay? Let's have lunch, all right? So she's going to have her lunch and watch her little bear. Because I've got, it's like a five hour marathon that um, YouTube has. So she's watching that. And she's going to relax and just enjoy her little bear. And I'm going to be the mommy bear that I am and clean up stuff. Keep things going the best I can and just try to, you know, salvage the day best I can. Uh, I'm trying to think of what is on our schedule tonight. <clears throat> Ewan, Daniel, and Ezra are supposed to have wrestling. Ewan's not going to be able to make it. Uh, I don't know if they're going to go there or not because it's important how you don't say one. Let's see. The girls have tumbling. And karate. Yeah. There you go. And your water. So she ate all her lunch, and I was impressed how good she actually did. She ate the whole bowl. And then some. She's still watching her little bear, still focused on that. She's probably going to take a little nappy for a bit, huh? Is she going to nappy? Sort of, maybe. Yeah. Okay, pumpkin. Good job. You ate all your food. So her stomach doesn't feel uppy anymore, so that's good. So she ate all her food. She did really well. Um, so I'm going to leave her to take a nap and just kind of watch her on the monitor. I've got her monitor on. I've also got her sets monitor on her. So I can tell when she's going to have a seizure or anything. So I'm ironing clothes. Um, these are riches. I'm going to get them in his trunk. Well, his... Uh, suitcase he is home he just got home he's exhausted because he was up with me shut up facetime i wasn't talking to you double tap to open shut up and anyway, i wasn't talking to you but he he came home early um he was up with me with elon so um he got home a little early he's gonna take a little nap with elon he went in there to live with elon for a while because he was like you know what daddy or Daddy Rich to go in there, so Daddy Rich went in there to lay with her and all that. I did call Lonzi and tell him that he was not really happy, but he's in a meeting and couldn't get away, so it's just life. It's life, you know, being a busy mama bear and you got kids with special needs. It's life. It's life. Hey guys, so I'm down here picking up the boys for therapy. Um, Aiden was not very happy with me because I picked him up a little early for therapy. So we're down here um, waiting, for, uh, waiting for therapy to begin. So I checked in on Elon and Rich. They're both still sleeping. Um, Elon was laying on Rich's chest actually. Knocked out and Rich was knocked out too. While they're still at work, I did I deliver his lunch to him and some coffee and his weight loss team. And I also told him that I packed his stuff for Ukraine. So, done, done, and done. I'm just down here waiting with the boys for feeding therapy and uh, ABA therapy and all that. So, let's get it done. Hey, guys. So, I just got back from feeding therapy. Y'all, it was crazy. But they're doing better. 
They're doing so much better. Jonathan is eating on his own po totally now. Peter hasn't quite gotten it, but he's trying. Um, Aiden is eating on his own now. Hayden's trying to as well. Layden is also eating on his own. So, um, Layton is not quite yet. He's still struggling with it a lot. I'm still too close, y'all. It's mountain of clothes. Ah! So, Narkees and Scarlet are coming over here soon to bring dinner. And I found out they are bringing the tri-tip. Ah, yum. When we were living in California, tri-tip was a big thing we loved. And you don't miss, you, you don't forget what you love. And we love tri-tip, so. Anyway, kids are home. It's about 5.30. Ah, it's growing. And our kids are here, so we're going to have dinner. And I'm going to pack some more stuff for Ukraine. God, I just realized all the stuff that I that we need just to pack for Ukraine, y'all. Just to pack for Ukraine. I've never seen so much stuff that we need. But when you have several kids with special needs, plus three more, you know, on our side we have three on Casey's and three on, or more on uh, Scarlett and Arkeza's side. It's crazy. And most of the kids don't have special needs, but well, they have a few that do, I think. But, you know, it's crazy how much you, you know, you're required to take with you on a trip like this, so. Plus, I'm also packing for my trip this weekend if I go. So, it's a lot to do. I mean, there's so much packing involved with what you're doing. It's just a lot to do. It's a lot. Hey, guys. So... I had to go to the pharmacy to pick up Elon's medication, and now I'm heading to go pick up the boys and other girls and Daniel, 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 Elon, and Ezra from wrestling. Elon would not stay home from wrestling. Ugh, that girl, she's tough. Uh, Rich calls her toughy because she's so tough, and she don't stay down. She's no, she's tough. It's raining. A little bit right now. It's been a very long day. Kind of, well, not really long, just yeah, kind of day. Like, I just want things to, I want something good to happen, you know, sort of thing. But Ellen would not stay home for wrestling. She's like, Mama, I have to go. Uh, Daniel's the same way, though. If Dale has a seizure, he'll say, No, I need to go to wrestling. Even if he's exhausted and knows he shouldn't be going, he'll go. That's just Daniel. That's just the way Daniel is. That's the way he always will be. I have known Daniel that way for the longest time. That's just Daniel. <laughs> so, whatever it's the way it is, I'm going to go pick the kids up. Head home, start doing baths, and do snack time and Bible time, and all that good gobble good. Hey guys, so I'm starting to pack more stuff for Ukraine. There's so much we need. And I thank God we're taking private flight because a commercial flight? Do you know how much this would cost to do a commercial flight? Oh my God. Huh. So I'm packing the kids' suitcases now. They have their own traveling cases that I pack their clothes in. And then they have their own tech backpacks. This is Aiden's. And I usually pack what I know he will, who will wear. And Jessie's bag is different because I have to pack stuff that's adaptive clothing because she's now starting to rip herself. So because of that, I have to pack like adaptable onesies and, you know, the other Jessica we had went back to her. Yeah. yeah. I will pack stuff I know they will um, the other Jessica we had, the other Jessica we had, this is just Jessie, not Jessica. Um, she unfortunately went back to, um, 
Well, put it this way. Her mom came back in the picture and wanted her back. I didn't go into it because we got another Jesse by the time that happened, but still, it's frustrating. This is Jesse's suitcase. Now, this one is different than most. Her and Obed both need this. Obed uh, also needs adaptive clothing because of his CP. But this is one of those adaptive onesies that we use for Jess. Because Jesse will take them off. She will take her clothes off and just go. Um, so that's why she has a, hence is why she has a vest that she wears every single day when she goes to school because, um, notes. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Hence why she has this vest right here. This is what she wears. And this harness keeps her in place on the bus because she's on those tries to get up and run around. So we keep her in place with this in her transport chest. So. We take a few of these along as well because you never know. It's always you never know. And uh, we have her convict stroller, which actually keeps her sitting up straight, which is really nice. <sighs> we also have one for Obed as well. So what I usually will do with Jesse and Obed is I'll pack their bag together because it's just a whole lot easier on me to do so because I have to change them both of them. They can't change themselves. Now, Bodie's, I pack his, um, with Obed's, but, uh, well, no, I actually pack his differently now, because he's changed it, but, he can, but we have to lay the clothes out exactly a certain way, or he can't do it, so, I have to lay them a certain way, or he can't, you know, take care of that, so, um, when you have kids with special needs, you gotta do what you gotta do, so this is Jesse's bag, right here, and Obed's bag. Um, so I'm putting Jesse's and Obed's together because it's just easier. When you have two kids that need changed, it's just easier to change them all at once, all at once, and pack their bag together. So, and it's also so easier on me than to have to drag a bunch of bags when I don't need to. So we need, um, because Obed has GERD, Sometimes he has GERD issues, so we need these burp balls to kind of keep him safe when he, gird, when he has GERD. Um, these like jewel bibs to kind of keep that contained at least a little bit. <laughs> it's gotten better since we took them off the any kind of lactose, but you never can be too careful. I always pack for the, oh no, I don't have enough of this or that. So I always pack everything more than I should. Like I overpack way too much, so. This is Narcisse's old suitcase, which he doesn't use anymore because he's got a real nice new one that uh, Scarlett got him. This is the one he got when he uh, was little when we went to get Aiden and Maverick. Um, Maverick used it, but now he uses a bigger one because <clears throat> he has the tech now. So this is Narcisse's old suitcase, but um. Yeah, this is a really nice suitcase. Um, it still works just fine. And it's perfect. So, um, we are the type of people, we do not throw things away easily. Uh, Scarlett can tell you this because she knows me quite well. Marquis can too. If something is still usable, we do not throw it out. We use it until it cannot be used possibly anymore. Um, uh, Sorora's bag. She's, oh, wow. She already packed her stuff on the nice. Wow. Fiona. Did she pack her stuff? Yes, she did. Okay. So, we call it, Yeah, they did. Okay. Thank you. Oh, that hurts. But, um, Obed needs, like, jewel bibs and stuff like that. And we can't go without wipes, and we can't go without Cheerios or, um, boost shakes for the kids that need it. Like, Obed does, um, Jesse does. So, yeah, we cannot go without those things, huh? So... Now this right here is a vest that Obed uses to keep him in, it's like keep him sitting straight up because 
Without it, he will slump, which Maverick used to do that too. He'll slump. Maverick now doesn't slump so much because he uses uh, the same vest that Obed uses. Um, also, now that Jessie has her own convoy stroller, she's not fighting Obed for his buggy. So, yay on that. Praise God. Um, that was a problem last time we went to, we traveled was she would fight Obed for his buggy. So, we're not having that problem anymore. Woohoo. So, it'd be a lot easier to transition her and to get her ready to go and get her done. This is Elon's bag. I'm packing Elon and Gino together. They like it like that. That's her, her clothes. And this is also one of Scarlett's old suitcases. She had, she had when she first moved here. When she first met Narquise. Um, which, I'll actually tell that story. <clears throat> when her and, met, and Narquise first met, um, we just loved her automatically. We knew she was the one for Narquise. We knew that she would love Narquise no matter what. We knew she was the only one for Narquise. Um, <clears throat> He had some self-esteem issues for a while and, you know, felt like no one would love him. Um, he had a lot of trauma because he was told that no one would. But she came along and she changed all that. So, um, when it came to saying yes, we were totally fine with that because Narquise was big enough and old enough to know what he wanted. And, you know... The only type of attorney power of attorney we have had at the time was medical because Narquise was old enough that he didn't really need a, a guardian per se, just someone to kind of help him if he needed it. But, um, you know, we, when he met Scott, we knew she was the one for him. We knew. Um, we were at a concert and she was the same one and they met because Narquise walked outside for a walk. At the time, he was in a wheelchair, so he rolled outside for a while to kind of get some fresh air, and he was struggling to deal with everything, so they met that way, and she is just awesome. She loves him. She protects him. She's always there for him. She always is there to lend a helping hand. She, you know, really, really is a wonderful helper to him, and... When he had his big big back surgery a couple of years ago to get him on his feet, y'all, she stayed with him the whole entire time. She was with him. Um, she never left his side. She stayed through all the you know problems he had, through the complications he had. She stayed with him through all that. We were there too, but like the most important thing was that she stayed with him in his room. She was the one who uh, stayed that whole time. He wanted her. He did not want me, which is fine. You know, he's old enough to make his own decisions. And after that, he really wanted to marry her, and they did. Best thing they ever did. And now she's a big part of our lives and has been for a long time. And we're glad to have her. And this is her old suitcase. When she first came here, she actually had this suitcase right here. So I'm packing Elon and Daniel's clothes in it because it actually still works quite well. Um... Oh, guys. This is a picture of her and Narquise when they first met right here. So cute. Oh, my God. So cute. Um, So, you know, they're a good match. They really, they are a match made in heaven. That's why they're, she was called a match made in heaven eternal love because they're a match made in heaven. That's just all there is to it. You know. They're good for each other, and they match each other really, really well. So that's an amazing part of it. So, um, you know, they moved for a while. They moved uh, for a long time, and now we're sitting, starting to get to see them again all the time, which is really awesome because we need that. They need that. You know, Scarlett needs a mother figure in her life, and, of course, Marquis, you know, wants her to have that. And she needs a father figure in life, in her life, which she has in her and, you know, um, Narquise wants that for her, and we want that for her, so. 
Oh my god, Scarlet, I just found your blankie. The first one I ever made you. Oh my god. This is the first one I ever made for her when she first came to our family. Um, it's red, white, and blue, and it has a big flag in the middle of it, and it says, I love you. Oh my god. Um, she watches our vlog, so she's probably gonna flip it. She sees I found that. Oh. So, um, the kids are fi fixed to get ready for bed. I'm gonna go check on bath and everything, make sure they're getting their baths and all that. Uh, we do Bible time before bed, and then we do bedtime, and the routine with that. So, this is Scopes. Oh my gosh. Their wedding, one of their little wedding photos that is like, um, in the suitcase, you can actually stick a picture in there on the other side. It's a picture of her and our kids when they first got married, and we're in um on the honeymoon and stuff it's really cute oh my gosh so for a while it was really hard because we missed them and it was really rough on us but you know she like i said she's the best one for our keys and that's the important part about it she's the best one for him and he's the best one for her he's the only one for her and she's the only one for him you know um and they're much like i said made in heaven you know it's special let's go check on bath time guys Okay, guys, we're getting our baths in here. Okay, Elon, how much you like? I'm just getting started, Mom. Elon, honey. Well, I had to make sure my tech stuff was, you know, ready for rain. Oh my God, Elon. Well, I had to get my babies ready. They had a lot of stuff I had to pack because Nathan and I had to pack Nathan's. Um, harness he has to have so I had to pack all that stuff and by the time that was done I had to be ready to get my back oh my goodness baby well get your back honey and get cleaned up for bible time <coughs> Daniel are you done with your bath honey yup getting my pjs on mom okay but Jesse needs help she's getting upset Okay, honey, I'll get her. Hey, Jess, are you ready? Can you get back, honey? Okay, come on. Let's get this. No, 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 don't fight me. Come on. All right, let's get the back up, sweetheart. YouTube, now. Go family, go daily vlogs. Speech off. Daily vlogs, 3019. October 21st, 2024. Attach speech on. 2024. Attach. Anyway, so let's try to get the kids their baths and quickly get ready for bad little time and bedtime because we have school tomorrow and Elon was packing stuff for her little special boys and would you say when I had a seizure yeah um Michael had a seizure so I had to calm him down because he was not feeling well so I did what you did for me and I put little bear on and he calmed down did you want to eat good job Elon Okay, pumpkin. There we go. <clears throat> Richard's giving a bed his bath. Uh, most other kids already had baths, but a few of them hadn't. Done, Daniel? Okay, good. You done. Good job, Bubba. Get your jammies, your snoopy jammies on, okay? Daniel's learning to um, dress himself. It just is hard for him sometimes because his right hand is his bad hand. Good job, Dan. You got him all by yourself. Yeah, hey. Okay, Jesse Bessie. It's bath time for you, Missy Lou. Bath time for you, Missy Lou. Yes, it is. Um, it's hard to get her in a bath because she will she'll fight you. Every time. Ugh. Yeah, I'm tired, you guys. Honestly. I'm beat, but I'll be okay. I'm just trying to take care of kids. Can't try to keep my spirits up, too. But it's not easy. Sometimes my spirits do flag a bit. 
spell the Ewan. Yeah, sometimes they do. Is Mikey okay? Can you check the monitor on me? Sure, hold on. Can you keep an eye on Jesse Bessie for me, honey? Yeah. Thank you. Let's see how Mikey is. Well, it looks pretty relaxed right now, Mama. Okay. Um, I'll have to give him his seizure meds and make sure he's had all his seizure meds. Good job, honey. You're a good mama bear. One of the young classes that she is in is called child development, and one of the courses that she wanted to take was how to take care of that child. So we gave them all special babies to look after. Good job, Daniel. Mom, what, Daniel? My uh, little boy, he's not happy. You want to tell what the little boy's name is? I never know that after my brother and our keys. <laughs> he's upset. Why is he upset, honey? He's tired and I didn't get a chance to get him ready yet. I'm just now getting his braces off to get him ready. Oopsie. You know, honey? <clears throat> Time to get him ready for bed. He's tired, honey. I can get his braces off. Okay. Jesse, stay right here. You have to get your bath first. Jesse, Jesse, come on. Stay right here. You have to get your bath first. Okay. Oh, Ben's already in his PJs. He's tired. Well, I'm trying to get my keys straightened out because he had a bath earlier when I came home from school. I gave him his bath and all that because I wanted to get it done. So I wouldn't have to worry about that later, but now I'm having to get him changed into his PJ out of his braces because he had PT. There you go, good. you got it. Good job, Dan. Yes, his PJs, honey. There you go. Good job. He was sort of fighting me a little bit because he's tired. I know, honey, I'm sorry. Okay, Narkees. Daniel's Narkees. <laughs> There's so many Narkees in our family, it's so crazy. Like, there's Big Narkees, there's uh, Maverick Narkees, and now this one. <laughs> so, just trying to get things done, get the kids bathed, and into bed because it's late, and it's gonna let her let me be in bed. <clears throat> they have school in the morning. Okay, let's get your bath feet. Come on, in bed. Come on. Jesse, come on. In bath. Let's bath. What I do to set the mood as far as Jess, I just give her melatonin, which she has to have every night because she doesn't. As y'all saw the other night, she does not sleep. So. Hey, Jess, come on. Bath. Bath, bath. Come on. There we go. Let's take our bath, huh? Good girl. I feel good. Good bubble bath, honey. Huh? Yeah. Jessie is, I thought she would have got her in the bath before 6.30. Because she's very routine. Excuse me, Snowball, no. He's like, go in there, Snowball. Snowball. No, 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 no. Anyway, I probably should have bathed her before now, but you have to bathe her, Jess. Jess can't really, it's hard for her to bathe herself. So we help her. All right, Jess? Can you wash your arm? Good job. Wash your arm for me. Oh, okay, pumpkin. You about ready to get out a little bit? Once you get her in, it's hard to get her out of the bathtub because she don't want to get out. And what I do is to get her comfortable and look more tired, I light a candle when she's in here to get her, you know, it's lavender. And I also bathe her in lavender because it's really good for the body. 
and the skin that I use is Dr. Bronner's stuff. <clears throat> Shampoo and stuff for her. Because her skin is so crazy that I wanted to find something that was really comforting for her. Hi, honey. Hi, thank you. Ooh. So, Elon just got done, and she's checking on her babies. <coughs> Okay, so it's about bedtime around here, guys. We're gonna go have Bible time, have our snack, right, Jesse? Yeah. And we're gonna go to sleep tonight, and we're gonna go. And this is another thing I do. I do a whole monologue of. <clears throat> we're gonna go to bed tonight, and we're gonna go to sleep, and we're not gonna stay awake all night, right, Jess? Yeah. We're gonna go to sleep tonight, and not stay awake all night. So I bathe her every evening in lavender, and I also give her melatonin with a cup of watered down apple juice. Um, it's better to give it with watered down apple juice because she'll drink it. She'll actually take it. And then I also put lavender <clears throat> in the infuser in her room, and it doesn't get hot. So I do that to keep her from, you know, feeling too scared, and it's just kind of a homey feeling, right? Right, pumpkin? So we're going to get her out and get her in her PJs. Hey, Jess, you want your Snoopy PJs? Noopy? Yeah, Noopy. Good job, Jess. Noopy. What's your Noopy PJs? Yes? Okay. Um, it's this cute. A friend of ours gave us this one, this adaptive onesie, Snoopy. Over a plate of chocolate chip cookies and it says dream. Okay, I want to try to get her out. This is going to be a lot of fun because she does not want to get out of the bathtub when she's in. Hey, Jess. Come on, honey. Let's get you out of the bathtub, okay, love? Come on. Come on, pumpkin. We're going to have Bible time and do our nightly song and get you comfy in bed, okay? She also has a special baby that she has. Oops, hold on. Okay, guys, I finally got the little one out of the bath. I'm about to have our snack and have Bible time while we're having snacks. So this is our watered-down apple juice for Jesse. So now they're eating snackies. We do not give them anything sweet for snacks. Like maybe oh, we'll do like graham crackers or something like that. But we don't give them anything super sweet because it's just not good for them to go to bed on. So we give like fruit or we give yogurt or we give crackers or mostly cheese and crackers and a glass of milk. Uh, Jesse won't eat that, but... She's having, she's having, yeah, she's having Cheerios and a uh, glass of watered down apple juice. That's so good, Jesse. Yeah, so the kids are having their snack. Obed's having some um, applesauce. That's what he can eat pretty easily, so he's having that. And his nightly boost shake. Eon is having some yogurt with her shake, her uh, drink for the nighttime that she needs to help her stay, you know, able to focus, you know, to feel better. Gail's having some yogurt and a drink. <clears throat> so we just got through Bible time. Um, we had a couple of kids that had a little bit of outburst going on, so it was kind of difficult to do Bible time, but. We try anyway to, you know, successfully make that happen. Anyway, I'm going to put these little kids to bed. I will talk to you tomorrow. I hope you are doing well and have an amazing day. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being on our family. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Love you. Bye. leads with a voice so clear alarms are reads the bible out loud
Casey brings the word we hold dear. Special needs, but hearts so strong. In our home, we all belong. Hands held tight in unity. Love's a song we all sing along. One family, we stand as one. In the night till the day is done. Faithful hearts guiding the way. Together we kneel and pray. In the silence, whispers grow. Tales of hope we all know. Through the trials, through the tears, family love always here. One family we stand as one in the night till the day is done. Faithful hearts guiding the way, together we kneel and pray. All challenge to great to face in our homes, there's a sacred place. Bound by love and endless grace, we're together forever in praise. One family, we stand as one in the night till the day is done. Faithful hearts guiding the way.